All right, we got a P right here. What do you see right away? Right away, look at her right side, look at her left side, look at her knees. So what do we see? We've got sway back, positioning on the right side with an anterior pelvic tilt. On the left side, she's relatively stacked. So that's an imbalance. If you look at the front of her, we can examine that a little bit more with her knees. Yeah, look at the shoulders. Yep, and the shoulders, of course, of course. Look at that. But if you recall, her left side is stacked better. So the left shoulder is actually situated better. And then as you can see here, her right arm is really long. It's because it's rotated forward and kind of falling off her body a bit. Yeah. Yeah. The pelvis looks tilted space. too. Look at the space, go back up. I love this elbow window. Look at the elbow windows on the right and on the left. No window on the left. You see how the shirt fills yeah. Yeah, and go right here, right? Up. Yeah, that's a, that's a huge tell of a thoracic offset. And you can try that yourself, right? If you move it over, you get a big window on one side and a flat on the other. That's why her arm is hanging. And we got some that. knock knees. We have some knock knees. So her left knee likes to hide behind her right knee. And that's how she gets her feet to be side by side. Right now, you probably told her to stand a certain way or perhaps she knew following the directions. But in her lifetime, she puts the left one behind the right one to create stability and symmetry. But that's a rotation all the way up from her feet to her shoulders. Yeah, and th this knee yeah. looks like it's averted. And you look at oh, wait, the foot. The foot is that femur is externally rotated. Yeah. The right. So you can almost see like the kneecap, the eyeball of the kneecap, if you would. It's looking stage right. Yeah. If you and then we would love her second toe and her kneecap to line it up, but they're not. So that the whole leg is externally rotating. The yeah. Whole system it, isn't that interesting how the, the left, the left one is pretty straight. And then the right one is just mm -hmm. and you forward. Know, Go to her side view. Go to her left side view for us and open that one up. Mm -hmm. Draw that plumb line for us and we'll see what you saw in the front plane in the side plane. Yep. Yeah. So her knee is and her hip are better aligned on this side, right? She still has an anterior pelvic tilt she still has her pelvis in front of her plumb line. So her head and her pelvis are in front of the plumb line. Her shoulder is behind. And yeah. if you want to explain that more, go ahead. But that's the rotation. That's the struggle, right? Put your head forward, your hip back and your arm forward. It, it's a very bad dance. It doesn't even make sense. But she's stuck over there. That's her go-to strong side. Let's go to the right side. This is almost like her side that moves if you would yeah look at the sway back big time it's just really bad <laughs> i'm not laughing at the posture i'm laughing at the tell which is like i said this woman probably puts her right leg in front of her left and then everything is stable and that's a very common thing for people with a valgus knee to do because when told to put their feet side by side they cannot because of the way their bones grow mm -hmm. and that's just the way it is when you have a valgus knee, you're always going to have weak inner thighs. Look at this. It's just kind of. Yeah. But draw the plumb line for them because that shows her, that shows where she's traveling. So that the, the traveling, or we call it a transition, right? Her body is moving. Her hip is nowhere on the line, but her shoulder is. So remember, we were talking about the shoulders. Which shoulder was in the right spot? This shoulder is actually a little better, yeah. but everything else is, is really struggling and getting pulled to the left. Right. Everybody, everything's going counterclockwise, right? Even her foot. Her foot is going counterclockwise. And she's like, what, at 1 o'clock? Yeah. Lefty's at 12, righty's at 1. She's truly... Um, and then the back side, if you really can see the shoulder disparity here when looking at the back, the back is 
My favorite place to look on people is the back. I feel like the front is my last place I go because this is the spine. You can see everything but the spine. I mean, she's even worn a shirt that gave us a spine line. It's great. I love using clients' clothing because the clothes often pull the way the body pulls. Right. I mean. Yeah, you, look Look ah. at this right here. It's, yes, sir. But, and again, check out her elbow windows, she, where she touches, where she doesn't touch. Yeah, more, more over here than over here. Right, so that lets you know she's shifting left, loading left, and doing on the right. Would you say that the right hip is elevated here? Yes, sir, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And you can go across and the gluteal fold is another place where you can look. It's right under the bum yeah. and it goes straight across and your ischial tuberosity sit on that fold. So it's almost like you can, you can keep going down and then you look at the knees and they're not quite the same, right? The crease, you can see lefties more. Um, this is going to be a weird one. They're externally rotated, right? But they look internally rotated. But again, that's because of the knock knee. Mm. It's, a, it's an illusion. Let's look at her ankles. Let's look at her feet. Oh, look at we don't have enough feet. We got to go find another feet picture. Yeah, we get. That's a good foot. So the front tells us a lot about her feet. Mm. So in an ideal world, we love them to be on the same, you know, parallel planes like they're side by side right in Rhode island it's side by each it's only in rhode island though <laughs> all right so this young lady needs postural therapy yes sir and that's the bottom line it can be corrected right. we want to reduce that rotation yeah then we're going to neutralize that pelvis back to neutral we're going to decrease the stress in the lumbar increase thoracic extension functionality get her head back over her legs i'm not going to try to change the knock knee because that's the way she came onto the planet but i'm going to give her all the tools to utilize that and she can probably rock a pair of high heels when she was a youth because a knock knee can do that but only for so long so she might have right. some you know very strong calves that's why i say that because you can see there's sinewy behind the ankle which tells me she has potential her ankles are not tight, but they're not talking to her hips. Therefore, her feet are not talking to her shoulders. The right. whole system's a little uh, off, and we can help that. All right. And that's that what was fun, Dr. We'll Reese. Do.